Hello, my sweet babies. How's everyone doing today, my darlings? I guess I'm doing all right. Now, I have two blessing boxes I want to show y'all. One is from Miss Frances and from uh, Beating Crazy Custom Creations. And one is from Miss Tammy Coleman. And I'll show y'all that when I get through. Now, I got this anchor mold here. And I filled it with these beautiful rocks. Uh, they're not rocks. They're crushed shells. I'll get it right. But some of them are just like, I don't know, iridescent. They change colors. And they are just gorgeous. I'll have everything that I use down in the link. In the description. If you don't know where the description is, up under my video, you will see the word more. Click on the word more. And uh, down there will be the mold. It will be the uh, crushed shells. It will be the resin. Everything that I use will be down there. Okay? All right. Remember, click on the word more. Okay? And it'll tell you. It, there's a whole lot of stuff down there. Now, this right here came from Orange Beach. This white sand. Now, I hadn't sifted it or nothing. It's got little sticks in it. And I'm going with it. Now, I have my resin mixed up. And it is less resin one-to-one. -one. And that was Miss Frances that just called me. Let me... Let me text her right quick. Okay. Now then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sand and I'm going to mix it into my resin. Okay. And I'm going to pour it in. Now. I'm not going to color it. I'm not, well, you know what? I might put a little, I might put a little bronze in there. Now, you do know you can color sand, right? You can color it. I've got a video on that somewhere down there in all those videos on how to color your sand. And it's just like how you color your glass. You can use alcohol ink to color your sand. Whatever color you want. You can leave it white. You can do it brown. You can do it blue. You can do any color money that you want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my sand mixed up in my resin. And I'm going to use this copper. This antique copper. And um, this sun spilt all over my name. But I think. I'll have to look and see. But my name is all... Oh, there we go. Oh. Let's see if I can get it off. Right quick. Probably could do it faster with alcohol, couldn't I? Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Alright, let's see. Uh, Va Vallejo. V-A-L-L-E-J-O. Okay. Now, let's get our sand mixed up. Now I'm just going to pour. And stir. Pour and stir. Pour and stir. Because I want my sand to sink. You see. And then once I get the sand. In there. And it cures. And I demold it. I'm going to be. Look at the bubbles it causes. Look at, look at all them bubbles. But less resin is a pretty good degas and uh, resin. So I'm gonna have sand everywhere. I'm talking about everywhere. I'm gonna give this a good beat around. It's got ocean in this sand, baby. Salt. Whatever the ocean's got in it. That's what the sand's got in it. 
unload it. Okay. Maybe just a hair more. Just a little bit more. Okay. There we go now. Let's get that mixed in. And then I'm going to just stick my stick in this copper over here. And just do one swirl. Oh, yeah. I like that. That's good enough, I think. I could have fast forwarded putting these uh, crushed shells down in here, but I figured y'all done got tired of um, tired of me doing that. So I've already shook it up. It's a liquid. Look at that gorgeous color. Come come, pretty young. I'm gonna take a pipette. And I'm just going to suck me just a little bit. Now, I'm not sure. I don't think it's plenty. Probably, maybe too much, but we'll see. We shall see, loves. And like I said, I don't want to mix it much. I just want it to pour out with the sand. That's it. Okay, I'm mixing it too much. All right, here we go. Let's get with it. I'm going to start in the middle. And just let it flow over it. Now, if my um, shells move, that's fine. That's fine. Let them move. Plunks of sand fall out. Look, there went a little stick. All right. Come down here. Y'all, those crushed shells are staying in place. I'm shocked. If I could quit over doing the Lord, over pouring, stay inside the mold, Wanda. Huh? Tell me, stay inside the mold, gal. Oh, Lord. Now then, let's get a little bit more. Come, come. And my little shell is floating. I put a little conch shell in there and it's floating, I see. But that's all right. It is what it is, ain't it, babies? I think it's still going to come out pretty. I'm going to wait and let those bubbles come up. And then, yeah. See my little conch shells? They're not wanting to stay in there. I thought about using that uh, 10 minute. I said, oh no, baby. Mm -mm. I wouldn't even get my sand in there good, would I? And that stuff would be cured, would it? Oh God. It would be cured. I, you know what? Is that supposed to be filled? Hmm. I don't know. This is the first time I've done this mold. So, we'll see together, won't we, babies? We'll see together. Mm-hmm. A little comp system won't stay down, comp shells. I'm not sure about that. I'm going to suck some out. I'm going to suck some out and see. Because, ah. Uh, not sure if that's supposed to be in there. Now you have a 40 to 50 minute work time on your uh, less resin epoxy resin if you don't heat it. If you heat it, it cuts down on your work time with all resin. That is the truth. That's got to be filled on it. 
because it's gonna be a, it's gonna be weird, right? I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm gonna find something else to pour this in, and I'll be back when it's cured. I'm gonna spray it with a uh, ninety percent isopropyl alcohol and pray it does not uh, overflow. Because sometimes isopropyl alcohol, if you're over the edge any, it'll break the barrier and your resin will just flow out. Makes the resin thin, I guess. And it just flows on out, baby, and does what it won't do. I'm going to give this some heat once I get off of here. I don't want to bust y'all's eardrums. All right, baby dolls. Whatever I, I put the rest of this in is going to be a surprise to y'all. I wish my little conch says conch, conch. I think that's how you say it. Conch shells would stay down. But that's all natural, baby, from the beach. So I thought that'd be pretty. All right, darlings. I'll see y'all when it's cured, baby dolls. All right, babies, while this is curing, um, I did go ahead and put my heat mat under it because y'all know I'm impatient, okay? We're going to go ahead and do Miss Tammy Coleman's blessing box. Now, keep in mind, I had this blessing box before uh, Lillian left, and Miss Tammy did send a donation for uh, Lillian, and I went and got her 100%, no sugar added, organic fruit pouches y'all she loved them she loves them she loves them so when i packed up her, her little uh bag with all her little snacks and her and her juices and soap cups you know the coal bag i put her little fruit packs in there so thank you miss Co miss tammy i appreciate it baby now let's see what she sent okay now, we got some black roses. Oh, honey, baby. Now, y'all know what I'm going to be using them for, don't you? Don't you know? Halloween. Look at, oh, they're velvet. Oh, those are pretty. Those are pretty. Oh, I love those. I like anything Halloween. Now, look at this, y'all. Now, she made this with her own little sweet hands, okay? Now, let me get it out. Without tearing up something. Now this right here is um you can put little pictures on it or you can put notes, clip your little notes on there. Just open your little thingy dangy. Put your little picture or notes. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? She made it. That's beautiful, baby. It's beautiful. I love it too. She sent me some um gems, acrylic gems. Red. I'm going to lay them back in there because the bag boosted. So I'm going to lay that back in there. Okay, we got some more velvet black uh, roses. Oh, Lord of me. We have a little mold. And it's a witch. Oh, my God. It's a witch riding the broom. Look at that. Yay! Anybody that's been watching me for a long time, honey, knows I love me some Halloween, okay? Now, this right here is going on my porch. I'm putting this on my porch. Oh, snap a cracker. Oh. Uh-oh. It's all trying to go. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at the end of it. Is that not pretty? Look at this. It just goes. That's gorgeous, ain't it? I'm going to hang it outside on my, I got a tall uh, shepherd hook, and that's where I'm going to hang it. Hanging it outside on my shepherd hook, baby. Okay, now we've got this. Now, I'm not sure if, um, if this, that's a keychain. Look at that. Look at that. Got a feather. Now, it's been hot in my art room, so it's kind of bendy. But I'm going to lay it flat and it'll get back hard. But ain't that pretty? That's pretty. 
You know what? That could be a bookmark, too. You could stick that in your book and let that pretty hang. Ain't that gorgeous? I think it's adorable. And then, y'all, she made these sticks. Look at that. She put them in a silicone straw, I think is what she said. And then she twisted it. Look at that. Shut your mouth. I done never thought about that. Then we had this. Now, I don't know if that fell apart. Because I'm telling y'all, it's it's hot. It was hot. Oh, my God. I might can uh, put it back. But look, ain't that pretty? Ain't that pretty, guys? Uh-oh. I'm knocking stuff over. Okay. Then she sent me a beautiful, sweet letter. Oh, it was so sweet. And let me see now. She gave me a challenge off in here. Now, let me see. I remember it saying something about a challenge. Um, somewhere. Here is your challenge. You have to make a few different things from your craft room. Nothing new. Only one item can be new. And place in a gift you send to someone else. Just a way to pass it on. Ain't that something? Honey, I got a lot of them. <laughs> I got a lot of them, baby. Already made. Oh, Lord. Now we have. Now these are two-piece set silicone. And I'm thinking. Um, not sure, but I. They look like lighter molds. Now, that's what they look like. Let me see. I think they are. I think they're lighter molds, ain't they? That you put your lighter in. I think it is. I think that's exactly what it is. Because it's got little nibs where you can refill fill your lighter. I'm thinking that's what it is. Ain't that right, Miss Tammy? Is that lighter molds? I think it is. I think it is, babies. We're going to make them. We're going to make them. And see. We're going to make them and see what they are. Okay? Now, look at this. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. And they can go in my um pied mold. My pied thing I made. Look at all this hot chocolate. Look at here. Look here, some more hot chocolate. And look at that, coffee. Oh, oh yes, baby. It's now, see, good. now look at this little knot. Look at that. I would have never thought of that. Now, now Miss Tammy, there's some crystals down in here. This one's got a little hooky on it. So I'm sure it goes on probably this. I bet you it goes on that because that's the same color. So, I'm going to have to fix that. And then we have this here. Oh, that's got a little, looks like a little heart in there. Look at that. Is that not pretty? Now, Miss Tammy, you're going to have to tell me how you made that. And that come off of something, too. I'm going to have to figure it out. But here's all the other little things that came off of the one that melted. Doggone. Honey, it's hot outside. See, these three came off of this. But I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. I promise I'm going to fix it. Okay, now that's what Miss Tammy sent. And I'm going to set that right there. So I'll know to put that on. That, uh, I'm going to leave the moles out. Put these crystals back on there. I know that one goes on there. I just know it. Now this one's broke. Oh, that one's broke. On it. And then we have this. Ain't that cute? Did I show y'all that? Ain't that pretty? You know what? You put somebody's pictures on there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure can. Now I gotta figure out what to do with these sticks here. I have to figure out what to do. I'll figure out something while I'm now I'm gonna hang this uh this wind uh this uh it ain't a wind catcher. It's a so doggone, y'all know. I just said it. Wind chime. I'm going to 
I lay it low. Together. Just like that. Okay. Thank you, Miss Tammy. Thank you, darling. I love everything in there, baby. Yes, I do. I love it. And I appreciate it so much, baby doll. All right. Now, we have Miss Frances. Okay. Miss Frances, and I thank Miss Jenny. I think she said Miss Jenny. Miss Frances and Miss Jenny. Okay. Now, these right here was for Lily and I know they was. So, I'll have to give them to her when I see her again. And hopefully, it won't be but a couple of weeks and I'll get to go visit. And I can't wait. Oh, God. I can't wait to see that baby's sweet little face and just hold her and hug her. I miss her so much. Now, Miss Jenny has to have everything in twos. Now, we didn't know that, we, that we had that in common until Miss Jenny and Miss Frances came to visit me and we went to the Dollar Tree and I said, oh, they don't have two of them. And Miss Jenny said, Miss Frances said, oh, God, you got to have two, too. And Jenny said, I do, too. I think we're sisters. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> they got me two of each. <laughs> I'm a two-a-doer. I have to have two. I don't know why. I cannot stand an odd number. Ain't these beautiful? Look at those. But look at these. These are stickers. Look at that. Ain't those gorgeous? I love them. I love them. Okay. And then, look here. We got two white. <laughs> two red and two black. And they, they're some visors. Honey, babies, y'all give me some ideas what to do with these, okay? Because I'm blank as a coot. And then I have two butterflies. Ain't those pretty? Those are gorgeous. And then Miss Frances made me, she, well, she made these, and I think with washi tape, if I'm not mistaken. She made them with washi tape. I can't get nothing open this today. Y'all, I don't know what's wrong with my hands. But they just don't want to work right. But look at this. Ooh, look at that. Washi tape, guys. Is that not beautiful? I think it's gorgeous. Oh, I absolutely love it. I'm going to leave it out and hang it on my my uh, necklace tree over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've already took these out. Now, they come two to a pack like this. Just like that. Are those not cute? You can do alcohol ink. You can do um, paint pens. Paint pens. They'd work great on this because it's plastic. Aren't those adorable? They'd be a cute wing catcher. Would it not? I thought so. And then... It would go with a unicorn and a cloud. Now, I'm sure this is for uh, Miss Lillian. So, I'm going to be making that for her and make her a little uh, wind catcher to hang in her room. Okay? So, I've got that. Now, let me. I'm dropping. I'm dropping. Lord, help me, Jesus. I'm dropping. Okay. Get that right there. Now, then, I'm going to get this out. And I'm going to put this back in. And then I'm going to put everything up. Except for these plates. Because in two weeks I'm going to see my baby. Oh, I can't wait. And take those little plates with me. Okay. So, the last thing in Miss Francis's blessing box. And Miss Jenny, I think. I'm sure. Pretty sure. It's this right here. Oh, I feel the heat coming off this baby. Now, I'm going to unwrap it, and then I'm just going to come in with it. She knows. I love skulls. Y'all look at this. Oh, my dear God in heaven. Let me get it right. Look at that. Oh, honey, 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 honey. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? I love it. Oh, Lord have mercy. I love it. I think it's beautiful. And I think she made this on her channel, y'all. 
Beating Crazy Custom Creations. Go check her out. Look at that. Oh, Lord have mercy. A dragon wrapped around a skull. Love it. I love it. Oh, God bless it. I love it. Thank you, Miss Francis and Miss Jenny and Miss Tammy. Thank y'all so much, babies. I figured we'll go ahead and do that while I'm waiting on this here to cure. Okay? All right, darlings. I'll be back when this is ready to go. All right, babies. It's ready. Oh, I'll be careful around these little... Uh-oh. Overpour. Of course. Overpour. Oh, Lord of the G. I don't know. <laughs> All right, babies. Let's see what we got. Lord of G, let me get my uh, uh, burn tool. Here we go. That turned out pretty, didn't it? Look at that. Is that not just gorgeous? Ooh, ooh. Ain't it gorgeous? And I'm glad I feel that in. Because it's like a thing swirling there. I guess it's supposed to be filled in, honey babies. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm just going to take my deburring tool. And I'm going to get these edges. Like that. Like that. Get in the little crackies. And I think that's it, no? There's a little bit more. And I'm going to come up through here. And then there's a little... Some of it you can just paint off. Okay. You know what? Now that I'm looking at... Well, I guess it is supposed to be there because that's the ribbon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do y'all think? What y'all think about it? What y'all think about it, babies? I know some some this light's too bright. Here we go. Made out of sand. Sand and crushed not crushed. Broken shells. Sand and broken shells. Oh, it's pretty. You see those rocks changing color? Why do I keep calling them rocks? Those doggone shells. Look at that one. There's a bunch of them in there that change. Oh, yeah. No bubbles. No bubbles. I am shocked about it. Now. This rope here. I'm not liking it that sand color. Y'all already know I was going to do something, did you? Y'all already knew it. So let me figure out what I want to do to that rope. I don't know if I want to get put a hint of blue in there. Oh, I know. I know. Hold on, babies. All right, babies. I got my uh, metallic gilding polish, and it's in chocolate bronze. Now, I think I want to do the rope. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? I'm going to try it and see if it'll show up. Since it's already brown, it may not. Because it's brown by the sand. Now, I always use my finger. It does have a sponge. In the top. <sighs> There's a sponge. I don't use that. I use my finger. I do tap it off my finger a little bit. Let's see what this looks like. Now, I may put a little bit of this. And then I may hit it with a little bit of gold. 
you know, just to give it a little, a little ink on it. I think it's pretty. If I could keep it where I wanted it. I'm liking it. Now I'm going to let it dry. And then there's a little bit of rope that's going to go in the lid. And then it's just a little bit more. Oh my God. I don't know if y'all can tell it, but this sucky light. I don't know. Or not. So I'm going to hit it with some gold. Okay. Be right back. Alrighty. I got my uh, gold leaf rubbing buff. I love this stuff. But you don't want too much. So I'm just going to take it and rub it like that. Okay. You see the difference. It's popping. Alright. a little bit over this brown just to make it pop ah, a little tad and I may take it and hit it around the edges oh yeah I like the gold better see that yeah that's pretty that's pretty. So we'll get a little bit more. Don't take much. I, I don't know. I just overdo. Really do. We want the rope to look old. And see, you can take some and go around the edges. Now, don't worry if you get it on your piece because you can take alcohol and get it off. Okay? But here is the Gold rope. Yeah, I'm liking the gold. I like the gold. It just makes it pop more, does it not? Mm-hmm. Sunken treasure. The gold rope. I think that's very pretty. It just stands out more, don't it? I'm going to put this up before I uh, overdo. Alright, I'm going to take my brown shortcuts paint pen. Get it to going. Here. And I'm going to go in between the gold with the brown. And that's just going to make the rope pop more. Okay. Now I'll probably put this in fast mode, but I may not because it may not take that long. I just don't want y'all to get bored, babies. I don't want you to get bored. So I try to you know make it a little shorter for you. You know I want you to stay with me. So, if you get bored, you're not going to stay with me. You'll hit that fast forward button, baby, and get to getting. <laughs> Ain't the truth. I don't blame you if it's boring. All right, let me show you. Show you how the brown, see? That just makes that gold pop, and it makes that brown. I mean, it makes the brown. The gold makes the brown pop. Y'all see how it's working together, babies? Honey, honey. Mm -hmm. Y'all, when uh, my blessing box came from Miss Frances, I want y'all to know me and the UPS man got tickled about that day. My hairpin, he called it. This your hairpin was tickling my neck and I was flailing around. We got tickled about it today. 
<laughs> it was, oh God. I think about it all the time. I miss my little baby. God bless it. I try to get my mind on other things. And, but make it in two weeks, Wanda. I can make it. You can make it, girl. What y'all think about this brown? I think it's pretty. It just makes that rope look old. Like it's been off in the water. See, I'm just going in the groove. There's grooves in between this gold, you see. And I'm just going to hit it. Now I'm right up on this camera. I might have turned the volume down. Y'all know I got a big old mouth. There, look at that. Now, is that not better? Good Lord, have mercy, it is, ain't it? Now we got to figure out. Oh, God, yes. Woo, yes, babies. I'm loving that rope now. Look at that. Look what that did. Oh, my God. Oh, yes, honey. Honey, babies, I'll be right back. Okay, I made up my mind. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not sure which one I want to use. I'm thinking the gold. Let's go with the gold. I'm finna outline this, 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 around here, and around there. And I outline it, babies. Yes, I am. Y'all know I'm crazy about outlining. I'm going to get my pen all jugged up so it won't do no flaying around and I'll slide off nowhere. Okay? Y'all ready? Bring it down just a little bit. This camera gets crazy when it gets too far down. But I can bring it down some. And I'm just going to hit it. Now, I don't know if I'm going to lock it. But if you don't lock it, you can take... Oh, my God. What y'all think? I think it needs to be darker, don't y'all? Let's try the rose gold. You know, I do have a black. God bless it. Let's try the rose gold and see what that looks like. Now I'm going to get me a little paper towel and get me some alcohol on it. And ju I'm just going to wipe it off. And there you go. There it is. Now we're going to go over here to this side. Let me get this stuff out of the way so it'll focus maybe on what I'm doing. Now this rose gold is a little darker, you see. It's a little bit dark. All right, here we go. Hmm. Now, if I don't like that, I'm going to do it in black. See that? See the difference? I like it. I think I like that. I think I do. I'm starting to stutter. Oh, my God. Yeah. Now, I will fast forward. All right, babies. There it is. I went ahead and done the whole edge in the rose gold. Look at that pretty. Oh, ain't it pretty? I think it's what I like. God, I think it's so pretty. Let me know what y'all think, love my saints. Let's get a prayer card going. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let me get all the stuff I used right here together. Because I'll be done forgot what I used. Let's get a prayer card. Now, I can't remember if I did the blessing board or not. So, let's do it again. Blessings for June. Miss Stacy, Miss Francis, and Miss Tammy. Uh, prayers for June, Mr. Jean, that is Cerulean Blue's um, husband, Miss Christine, but you'll see her comment as Cerulean Blue, okay, babies? Mr. Allie's husband, Mr. Larry, he had his surgery, y'all. He's not doing very good. Let's send um, Mr. Larry some prayers to recover, speedy recovery. Yes, Lord. 
speed of recovery. And to Mr. Gene, too, bless his heart. Miss Larry and Mr. Gene, they just going through it, them, bless their hearts. Miss Lisa and Miss Caroline Surprised. Okay. Um, let's get this prayer card, baby dolls. Hmm. Oh, something just fell. Is that a dog on bug? I don't think so. Okay, this one. We got this one yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, evidently, somebody needs to hear it. Asking you shall receive that your joy may be full. Mm -hmm. If it's asking for forgiveness of your sins, if it's asking for Jesus to come into your heart, whatever you need, ask and you shall receive. That may not be on your own time, babies. It comes when it's time to come, you know? All right, little machines. Might want to have a preaching session. Let me get these back in. All right. Now then, I want to know if anyone's ever used this resin obsession. It's by resin obsession. If this, I could slap this camera right out in the yard. It's by resin obsession, and I have an affiliate link down below in my uh, description. And it's black, and it's like a paste. It's like a paste. It says, uh, gently stir pigment into part A resin until desired color is achieved. Do not exceed 10% of total weight. Mix in proper amount of B hardener before casting. Okay. But it's pretty and it's, I'm telling you, it's black, babies. That's some black stuff, ain't it? But we're going to be trying that. Okay? Let's see how I like it. And it seemed like it was something else I need to tell y'all, but I guess not. I guess it's not. Let me know how you like the anchor. How do you like it? I think I love it. All right, darlings. I love y'all. And um, y'all sleep sweet. Okay? And I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace, love, prayers, and happiness, babies. Bye!